Well, happy Monday. Well, welcome back. All right, so I'm super proud of myself over the course of several days last week, starting on like Wednesday, we got the bulk of our garden planted, our spring garden. We've still got the straw bales, we're waiting for them to cool off, but grab yourself a snack, grab yourself something cool to drink or warm if you're a coffee drinker, and kick back and enjoy some at home plant and garden time with me this is one of the longer videos i've had in a little while but i'm sure you're gonna enjoy it the girls are helping me in and out of all of it so check it out hey so like what day is it it's um it's wednesday and i didn't get any planting done yesterday i don't i can't even think of a good reason why um maybe i don't know no reasons so today it was supposed to rain like today's wednesday it was supposed to be like 100 percent chance of rain and so i really didn't think i was going to get to plant until thursday however i did pray for a little window of time in the morning to um get some planting done especially with some transplants that i have um so i don't have makeup on i don't look fabulous I just have been scurrying around doing my job, um, my jobs here and the jobs that actually pay me. So we're going to start over here at our brand new bed and um, bring you along. And I think the first thing I'm going to plant are tomatillas. And tomatillas are kind of like tomatoes, so um, kind of and kind of not. Um, but one thing that's similar is... Um, and if you watch my other video about tomatoes is that you can actually they'll produce roots off their stem and my tomatillas are pretty tall and the leaf settings already don't start to like way up here so i think i'm going to split the distance in the length of um, the plant and put about half of that underneath the soil um so if you're wondering that's why i'm doing that and um then and it might take a minute after we plant the tomatillas because i really haven't figured out entirely what is going to go in this bed but i don't want to get the tomatillas established and so that's the first thing we're going to do so you can see this tomatilla is pretty long so i'm probably going to take like i said these leaves off and plant it to probably right about there Over here in tomato heaven, I've got um, like three peppers and another tomato coming in. Um, this is going to be a, um, dang it, the like yellow plum, the ones that were so successful for everybody in Arizona. So I'm just going in, I've kind of dug out a little hole for myself. I'm just putting a little bit of Epsom salt in here. And one thing I forgot to do with the tomatillas is I forgot to douse their roots in um, the soil diva, but they're kind of weeds and everybody says that they like to kind of be treated roughly. So I'm not going to hold it against myself, but I am going to make up some soil diva to treat the roots of these plants that I'm about to treat. So check you in a minute. The spring planting always means that it seems like we're going to find aphids. So 
these are the collards one set of the collards that I transplanted from the bed and I noticed that one was going to flower so I was like oh let me pluck that off and then I went to go pluck off the middle of this one and I just had to cut it off so I'll watch the other piece to see if it's got aphids but this one right now is going to die it was a yellow pear and like I said we're just gonna douse the roots really good with the soil diva let me get a better grip on this okay so just giving them all a real good soaking might pinch off some of the peppers tops here but these are this one right here is like a lunchbox orange this is a serrano and this one is the lunchbox yellow so these are like the little mini bell snack and peppers now i'm going to cover these puppies up and i'll be back with um some azomite to go on the top and then i'm going to finish it with a little bit of screen compost that i've got on the patio and i'm racing time So today we're gonna get these sweet potatoes planted up in this sweet potato bed over here. And I think I'm gonna do the biggest one first, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna, maybe I'll get these arranged. You wanna take that? Would you like me to put the water? So we've got this one we'll put maybe over there. And then we've got this one we'll put down here. And then we've got two little babies right here. So we'll put this one over here. And then we'll put this one back here. Put this one right here. And we'll put that one right there. So we're gonna bury this whole sweet potato and we've got a slip coming right up here on the top so i'm gonna try and make that be like almost close to the soil and i've kind of got to make a trench for these hairs here so i'm going to set this right here and i'm going to go in and i'm going to cut a little bed out so why are you covering the uh, uh sweet potato itself because the sweet potato could grow more um slips you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna leave this one here and then I think I should make it deeper. Just a little bit deeper. Angle it up a little bit and make this part deeper. You're gonna have to cut this part out, but I mean, do you like me asking a bunch of questions? I don't mind. 
and I don't have to cut that out. People like it when you guys are hanging out, learning in the garden. So we're going to bury all these roots that are kind of tangled up, like you guys' hair. Cut <laughs> it that way. Nope, don't mash them together. Just we're going to make them kind of curve that way. So maybe we'll put one of these babies just like right here. Do you think the roots might like attach to each other? Like No, because the roots are end up gonna end up being, you know, what becomes the sweet potato. So I don't think they're gonna get tangled up like they do with our hair. <laughs> with your hair or like in a planter cut, you know. What, kind, what is that knife called? Well, the brand name of the knife is called a Hori Hori. Um, but this is kind of the generic version of it. But I like it. I like it a lot. It's good for cutting in soil and making spots for like new plants. Yep. I also have another question. Yeah. Um, why are the bamboo things there? Why can't you just let it open up? Um, because I wanted to build up the level of the dirt. So see how the dirt is higher than the sides of the pool? Yeah. Well, if that wasn't there, then it would just fall over the edge of the pool, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why. Dang up flies. You guys should wave your arms around so the flies can't get me. Wee. I kind of hung over. <laughs> Are you just burying the roots? Yeah. On these, pretty much. Ooh. Because you don't want to get one like two. Okay. Well, I want these leaves to grow out. Yeah, you want them to grow, but you don't want them to grow so in the would dirt. Would this go like so this? They're going to be sloppy. Or would it be like this more? It's going to kind of lay a little bit more. So hot out. So hot. Mom, can you eat the, these little buds of the edible flowers? It's better to let them develop. Well, that's our sweet potato bed. Boom, there's our sweet potato bed. Okay, now we're just gonna water it in with some soil diva. Just to get everybody happy. These have been sitting out here for three or four days in their little container cups, kind of adjusting to the temperature, um, kind of hardening off. And you can kind of see that these older ones need some nutrition so we're going to start out with the soil diva and then next week we'll give them some fish emulsion we're making a uh, seed tip and we're going to put carrots and carrot seeds because they're so small now this time line it up and don't do it in the crease right so this is something i've actually I've, I've shown you guys before a video back in september and i don't think i ever got any further than making the seed tape but i've got two different spaces in my bed in my square foot bed that we're going to put carrots in so we're going to show you here i'll mark those we're going to get the carrots out here and um we're going to i think we're going to do some of the Danvers. Um, let's see. Maybe we should get these radishes out too because we're going to plant some radishes today also. Um, these Danvers are, you know, just kind of like what your standard carrot that you think about. And they're going to be, um, looks like 72 days. This is what our process is going to be because see how tiny these seeds are. So, oh, those are cute. Yeah, they are so cute. Oh, can we tell them what the mixture is? Yeah, you can tell them. Um, inside of this uh, mixture, it's kind of gooey, and you'd like say, what in the world is that? But truthfully, it's just flour and water mixed together. This so it's just equal parts. So it's like, so, okay, so I just want to show you, Maisie, because cause we're going to fold these in half. I just took a paper towel and I folded it until I got an equal number. So it's gonna end up being folded in half like that. And she kind of put the dot sometimes close to the seam 
So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna put the dot really more where I want it, which is like right here. And I'm just gonna go along and I'm gonna make little dots like this. A little bit more on that one. And then you can do the next set, Maisie, while I'm working on this. So then I'm just going to come along here and I'm going to get one little carrot seed and I'm going to drop it into kind of our flower glue. And then I'm going to fold it over and then we'll have some little homemade seed tape. And so seed tape is something that with some finer type seeds, you can buy these already made for you um, or you can make them for yourself. So we are looking to have a different kind of success with our carrots than what we've had in the past. So this is our little seed tape and we're gonna everything dries really fast here in arizona so we're gonna go out and plant these in a little bit so you actually get to see in this video us actually planting this seed tape and then you can see with us how successful it is when it actually comes up and we don't have to thin our carrots and so this might mean that we have fewer carrots because Maybe they didn't all come up, but at least they'll be spaced, you know, a good distance from each other and we won't have to worry about thinning them. Um, and so maybe we'll actually get some really awesome carrots out of there. So there's another one and we'll catch up with you in a minute when we put them out in the garden. We're heading out to plant these carrots and some transplants that we had going, but I also wanted to show you that I've got the um those are all okra seeds and kind of doubles of like i need eight and that's probably 16. um and it looks gross in there but that's just like some worm castings tea that they're soaking in and then here in a little bit when i get done planting i'm going to um put these in an ice tray and i'm going to freeze them because that's how i've had the best success with germinating and getting okra to grow and so that's how i always do it so let's head over to the bed so yesterday i spent an unbelievable amount of time and trying and i don't know why i hadn't already done this i mean come on um but i spent a lot of time figuring out like what transplants i had where i was going to put them in the bed and in the bales and also what other things i needed to fill in so right quick we're going to fill in the transplants that are going to go in this bed and we're also going to plant the carrots and the radishes the seed tapes that we showed you earlier we're going to plant those right now and we're going to drop in all the transplants that we've grown already for this bed over here so I'm going to start right here um, by this tomatilla is where I'm actually going to set up my first um, set of carrots. And for square foot gardening, which we still pretty much go by that planting guide, you can plant 16 carrots in a square foot space. So I'm just going to start about right here and I'm going to move back. Um, some of the soil which is kind of also like a, a mulch at this point because um, this is some of the thicker pieces of wood but down here see how it's kind of brown so I'm going to back that up just a little bit and then we're going to come in with four strips because our four strips have just about five or so carrot seeds per strip and that's because we had wonky measuring. So I'm just going to lay them just so away from each other a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to sprinkle the soil that we backed up, the kind of mulch stuff. And I'll go back and I'll put a little bit of finished compost on here. But we're just going to cover this up. And then in a minute, when we start watering everything in, we're going to water in these carrot strips. And we're just going to make sure, because carrots don't have to be buried that deep. So that's why I'm not 
really fretting about getting these super deep under the soil. I just don't want to see any of the paper towel in my opinion. So that's how we're going to set up the carrot strips and over here right about here is where we're going to have um, some radishes. But right now I'm going to start dropping some more of my transplants and this right here is a summer uh, summer squash. It's a crookneck. So it's like a yellow squash variety and all of them are about that deep.
next we're going to be planting some beans so there's everything from green beans to scarlet runner beans to black beans in there and um i'm going to plant these this afternoon and here during the day i'm just going to let them soak here in some worm tea and we're going to get our ochre ice cubes out in a minute and we're going to mend the buckets that they're going into and then we're going to plant our ice cubes so these are our beans that we're going to plant this afternoon so today we're planting beans um, okra and then we're going to plant some different lettuce varieties throughout the yard the girls are going through and putting um, a little bit of amendments in here they're putting about a tablespoon of uh, kelp meal and then a tablespoon of azomite on top of that and then we're gonna go get our um, we're gonna get a little bit of the compost that we got and we're gonna fill in the bucket a little bit then we're gonna drop our okra ice cube seeds in here and then our we'll water it in these buckets are already really moist from the last couple days rain so we don't have to worry about getting them ready to receive anything they're all gonna be ready to go so now we're gonna put a little bit of compost in and pop our ice cubes in Okay, so <laughs> we just dumped out our um, okra ice cubes into the little one's dress here. And we're just going to make a little opening with the butt of my little faux hori hori knife. And then I'm going to drop my ice cube in there. And I'm just going to cover it up like so. And we're going to go to the next one. Go, Joe. And just to show you one more time, I'm just going to take the butt of my hori hori knife and ice cube there's my ice cube with my okra seed in it and just gonna cover it up and we're gonna knock the rest of these out these are some loofahs that we're gonna put in these bags and some people say it's kind of eh, transplanting them so I'm actually gonna throw some seeds in these buckets as well so I'm gonna put one over here I'm gonna put one over here and then we're gonna soak some seeds tonight and we'll drop some more seeds. just moved back a little bit of the soil and did you finish putting all the seeds here so come into them right here and then I'm just gonna take this little bit of dirt here and I'm just sprinkling it back over the top that I moved out of the way and we're about to water here in a minute and so those will all get watered in really good oh that's our seed tape from mm. yesterday I was like what is that now that's going to be all crazy. That's our radishes. Okay, I have to remember not to dig anything else up. Did you get those all put in there? Yep. Okay. Now we can just sprinkle these back over with a little bit of soil. And now we're going to go over to the sweet potato bed. And we're going to put a little bit of lettuce over there. And hopefully we didn't mess up our radishes too much. <laughs> Our sweet potatoes aren't looking the happiest, but we're just gonna make like a little trail kind of through here. And from there is where we're gonna just put a little trail of some lettuce seed. So Maisie, why don't you do these two marks and Josie, you can do those and we'll make a little slash here. So again, just, I want you to put a little sprinkle here and move and move and move and just do small little sprinkles. You can just lay it down on the bed if you need to. So Maisie's putting in some more of the red romaine and Josie's putting in a mescaline mix which is like four different 
lettuce varieties and if you guys will just pat over like move your heels back into place gently so that you don't move your seeds too much to kind of wrap up spring planting I just kind of want to give you a little pan of the yard the only thing we have left to plant is the bales and we're just waiting for those to cool down and we're going to soak like I said some more loofah seeds and we're going to plant some on the ladder over here um, I want to show you real quick that especially our ever bearing is starting to produce out and I think these will too I finally got them fertilized all the flowers look amazing the um, nasturtias are starting to vine so that's great I'm going to get all of these fertilized tonight and I forgot I let the girls go in and we still do have some beans to plant we planted a bunch of kale here because the plant kale that I transplanted all got um what do you call it they all got aphids so we've got a couple oh well, yeah so the only thing we have left to plant over here is beans so i'm probably i have to go grab the girls and do that real quick and aussie beans black beans green beans and scarlet runner beans and these have all been soaking you know in the worm tea so now we're gonna go plant them so we're gonna have green beans and green beans right there so you're gonna need nine holes so you just want to go like one two three one two three one two three and you're gonna drop white beans in all those now joe you come over here and we're gonna do the same pattern you're gonna go one two three one two three one two three and you're gonna drop one of those in all of them and then over here we're going to put some runner beans in kind of in between these plants so I'm gonna drop a hole there and I'm gonna push a bean down in there I'm gonna drop one in here well that's the hole up right away yeah there's not enough seeds oh. There's supposed to be one more. If you don't have enough, don't worry about it. And I put one over here. So I have a question. Yeah. Um, why do uh, let's see, why do you soak the be the seeds before we uh, plant them? Well, just like kind of when we go to cook the beans, it helps um, the outer coating of the beans loosen up so that it's easier and hopefully they get a better chance at germinating and doing their thing, you know. So oh. that's one reason why we kind of try to help along the beans in that way. Now, we're going to mostly let this stuff go, a lot of it just kind of go to flower or we're going to chop and drop it where it's at and let it fertilize. So in here, we're going to tuck some black bean plants that will come up as this goes to flower and kind of dies out. So just kind of pick some open spots that you can find, girls, that are a good distance apart and poke your finger down in there kind of like the first digit. You can put one over here. Yeah, that's a good space. Maybe work it in a little bit over here. Yeah, that way it's a little way away from the edge. I could do one right here. Yep. Something that I do is I put it in a digit and a half so that the dirt comes into the circle. So if you do it in a digit and a half, then half of the circle will come in. Okay. And it will basically just be the same as one digit. Right on. Um, kind of go over in the middle of that see if you've got yeah that's a perfect spot is that your last bean mm -hmm. all right well high five girls that's round one of our spring planting yay all right <laughs> well what about that i mean that i'm so proud of myself for having the girls home all last week and working and weaving planting the garden and so I hope that you see that um, especially if you don't already have your own garden that just doing a little bit when you can a little bit here and there you can bring a garden together and in another week or two we're gonna start to see things pop up like the carrots and the radishes and then we're gonna see more things pop up
pop out like the tomatoes and the flowers of the tomatoes and the flowers of the peppers and it's just going to be great. So I hope that you're thinking about planting something if you haven't and if you have I hope that it's doing great and I hope you're having the best day ever and I look forward to catching up with you next week. <laughs>